Good evening. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you for joining us for Funfold Friday. Mm. My name's Barry. And I'm Jay. And together we are Matusu Crafts. Yes. Thank you for joining us and welcome to our channel. Uh, we're independent Stampin' Up! demonstrators based in Basingstoke, Hampshire, UK. Um, so don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel and pop in a comment as well if you'd like to see more card making and paper craft inspirations. Um, we are live so we will say hello to those of you who have joined us. If you are watching the replay you can fast forward the welcoming to our uh, viewers. So we've only got a handful so... Um, well I'm not sure if we are actually live. Um... Just to see, I think it's just finally kicked in on our feed. Can you? Can somebody let us know in the comments? Can you see us? Because we can't see us. So <laughs> I don't actually know whether or not we're live or not. Um, but yes, let's say hi to a few of you that are on here. Look at a handful that is here. So yes, so we have Pauline. Hello, uh, Dana, Amanda, Janice, Betty H, and Jessica. Hello to you and your. Mom as well. Lovely, excellent. So, um, Marina, hello, Marina. Yes. So I think yeah, I think the feed is um, just a little bit delayed tonight. It seems very delayed. So um, we will carry on. Yes. And this normal. is Tommy, by the way. Tommy <laughs> has joined us as usual. So um, hello, Mister. So um, yeah. So I'm going to hand you over to Jay, and he's going to be doing. We've la we've labelled this a um, fun fold pop up. And um, it's, I think you showed it last week, didn't yes, you? And so I think we had a few people come back and say, or oh, I'd like to see how you made that. So yeah, it's with the... Legendary, legendary Ride. ride. Brum, so, brum. Brum, brum. so a ma masculine card tonight, so we're going to be using the motorbikes with the Legendary Ride dies as well. So that's what Jay's going to be playing with and using the lovely papers which comes with that set as well. So um, yeah, I do hope you enjoy. Yes. Is there anything you'd like to add before we go? No. No. That is it. We can crack on. I'm going to leave hand you over to Jaden, and he will commence tonight's Funfold Friday. Yes. Enjoy. So this is the oh, card. It would help if I was to go over there. <laughs> if you follow us on um, our social media, you would have seen this from the Instagram post. I think I forgot to add it onto Facebook. But yes, yeah, so it's a gatefold with the pop-up frame in the middle and that comes out like that so we'll be or I'll be recreating this uh, as mentioned with the legendary ride and ready to ride the SP which is retiring soon um, on 2nd of May so if you love this DSP um, check it on the retiring page on our online shop as we sell all of card stamping up products um, on there as well so we will do some die cutting first just for the motorbike I didn't die cut a preparation so this one you can build your own motorcycle um, it's a lot of die cutting but if you love motorcycle or you know of someone who loves um, motorbikes it is a great um, bundle to wow. get Yes, so I think that is it. You have other um, elements on there. That one matches the stamp, the, the flame, flame boy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> A wrench, the small motorbike on the set, <laughs> and the grassy, rocky grass. <laughs> right, so those are what uh, we're gonna be cutting. I'll just get the cut and emboss machine. Where's Flame Boy from? <laughs> Flame Boy. <laughs> you should know. I can't believe you don't oh, know. Yes. <laughs> so I'm gonna cut the outline in black. Answers on a postcard. Uh, in the comments below. <laughs> We got a beginner black. And just cut one up. So 
So that one is going there. I have shiny and that one we're gonna do the frame and the wheels on the bike goes round and round wow <laughs> putting songs in my head <laughs> Does it get on your nerves? <laughs> <laughs> Who else is coming in? We is have okay? got um, and Jessica was the last one to come in, wasn't she? And then we've got Lisa, we've got Connie, we have got Joanna, we've got John, um, and who else have we got there? We've got Rose, Beverly, Annie, Louise. Thank you all for joining us. Yes. Right, let me just put those aside. Oh, Tommy's awake. <laughs> got horses going on outside. Got dogs barking. Horses? Can you not hear them? No. Tommy's Oh, I see. Um, pumpkin pie, just to match the DSP, to add some elements on that Ooh, why not and the seat I guess oh thanks Louise That's done. What else do I need? Ah, the body. I've got this one. For the body. So it's not too bad. Cutting up all of these. If you were prepared, um, maybe adhesive sheets <laughs> would have been a great idea. <laughs> Hi, Tanya. All right, just move it. Slippery. And this one is good because it, it actually embosses the bodywork or detailing on there. Oh, I didn't go far enough for that one. For these two even. <laughs> Do that again. Yes, this uh, silver foil, they are staying on. Uh, they won't be in the new catalog, but they'll be available online only. So if you love these to add metallic accents to your cards, they will still be available online. Um, I think that is it for now. this bring it in so I thought I I haven't um, shown how to make this up there's different ways that you can do it and some people um, change the handles by cutting a couple of different colors which you can do as well and um, this one yeah this project was one of my sample for the monthly artisan share on instagram and facebook and then uh my group tend to do a uh, insta hop the next day or the day up probably no yeah 12 hours 12 hours before um after the post goes live from stamping up But um, when I got this set, I, I did, it's lovely and I did think about it, but I was kind of like struggling with it because masculine cards is uh, a challenge for me. Um, I tend to, if I want masculine, I tend to go a little bit modern and just make it simple. All right. The 
we have got um, Hayes and Lisa and Sophie has um, joined us as well. Oh, hello. Did we get a new cover for our desk? Uh, yes. Um, this is the... It's a it's vinyl. Um, and I use it for my photos. And after Barry <laughs> spilled his drink on the desk. the desk we we just thought we'll change it and um this this one is yeah because it's vinyl it's waterproof i guess so uh that's gonna go and we're just gonna do some building up so that is going underneath so the wheel yeah Adhesive sheet, <laughs> but I'm just gonna quickly make it up If my glue works Have we got any more? Do you love the colors? Do you love it? Put you out of your comfort zone this time, yeah. Louise. Yes, yeah, so every month um, we do theme gathering online and we send who, um, a kit with card elements that our themies can make cards with with their own design uh, and everyone gets the same so when during the call we share our mystery cards so people get different ideas just by using the same elements but this or next month uh, <laughs> it's actually quite plain it's like card base a DSP and stamping so it's open for interpretation um, that one's gonna go onto here so just stick that down or you can just make it black and white I guess but sometimes it's just nice to add hints of color I know some people aren't orange people <laughs> some people aren't orange people aren't orange <laughs> Um, or don't particularly like orange, shall I say? <laughs> and that will go on to there. Oh, I missed a bit. So this one, we're just going to add dots in certain places and that should be nearly done. I was like the barry. I'll prep the die cut, but um, I didn't. <laughs> so the triangle kind of like matches on the triangle at the back there. Like that. And then this outline is actually for the stamp image. But you can use it as a backing, which I did. I moved you. Do wait until the glue is dry on the foil because it takes slightly longer and I just moved that slightly. So for the wheels, um, that can go on to there. That can just be added on. Place that on. And ooh, centrally, he says, and then move it, and that is there. 
wait for it to dry, wait for it, wait for it, sticky fingers. And then once that is done, I can add that onto there. It's just to house everything as well. So and it doesn't completely match, but it's it gives it some it gives it an outline. I did use uh, what did I use? Red originally. Oh no. Alright, I'm just gonna place that on. I was rushing it, but you can like get the idea. And I'm gonna bump up the seat just so it covers a bit more of the black. So who's got this set already? Mary's joined us and we've got Beverly. Oh, hello, hello. And Hayes has said, it's good to see this being made up as I've had it for ages and haven't used it yet. <laughs> yeah, do take your time. I, I, was get, I was trying to rush it and because I'm using foil, as I said, um, it went a bit funny in some areas, but I think it's fine. Yeah, there we go. So that is done. And let's crack on with the card. So I got one, two, and three. So I've got Where's my notes? That would help. <laughs> I'm gonna be working in inches today. So this one is nine seven eighths by four one eighths of an inch. I have five and a half by four one eighths, two of those for the gatefold. Um, this one is three seven eighths by half an inch, and that one is two five no three one eighths by half an inch. So for the mechanism, and I've also got somewhere a uh, window sheet that should be half an inch uh, tall. I haven't cut it to size just yet because I was. Running late. Uh, DSPs we're gonna have for the main cover or for the pop up frame. That one is four five eighths by four inches, so it'll just have a tiny one eighth of an inch or three millimeter gap frame. So that'll be half of it. Um, this one is for the wings. I cut that at five inches, I believe. But I'm gonna cut it again in half, just so I know the or kind of like the flow of it. Yeah, five inches by four inches, and then this one is for the inner panel, which is three inches by four. And I've got some pieces that I'm gonna cut just strips off. It's just easier to keep it um in one place. That's it. Ah, I think I need another piece the same as this one which is, what did I say, four, five, eight. I'll just cut that up and bring the trimmer because we'll be scoring anyway. All right, yeah. So this one was, ooh, four, five, eight, four, Eight, yeah. So this is gonna be for the the gatefold. I'm gonna actually cut that at 
two and a quarter. So you can just cut it in half and then leave it at that. But I find that sometimes when you, when there's a gap, I'll show you. I know it flows, but it doesn't flow because it's kind of like the design should flow in that gap. I'm just being particular. So, <laughs> so I've cut it at two and a quarter. I'm going to cut an eighth of an inch on that side. So then that would be my gap. Hopefully that makes sense. I've just turned it over and then cut that off. I know it's an off cut of a DSP, but most of us normally have loads of DSP. So kind of like that. So it, it's missing the, the star, but I, I don't mind because it flows more with the design. I'll do the same for this one. Uh, two and a quarter. Turn that over and an eighth of an inch or three millimeters. This one will probably look better because you can see the flow. I'm just putting it aside. This one cut in half at one and a half. That one I don't mind because it's going to be completely opposite panels. And for this one, I just want, I wanted to add some accents onto here. Three eighths and three sixteenths. Okay. Uh, three sixteenths and three eighths. Ooh, did I actually see I, I didn't I, I think I cut that the wrong way oops <laughs> it's supposed to be four inches I'll cut that now <laughs> are you four oh, it is now Just cut this to four inches. So the next one would be three eighths. One, two, three. And then uh, three sixteenth of an inch. So three eighths is one centimeter. Three sixteenth is about three millimeters. Cool. So that one, that one is done. I believe that's all my DSPs cut. So for the wings, um, so it's kind of like, uh, it's a mixture of different folds. It's kind of like a seagull fold and a pop-up aperture frame or what, however you want to call it. Uh, so this one is the five and a half by four one eight. Uh, we just need to score at two five eighths of an inch and then um, four seven eighths of an inch. So I'll do the same on both cards. That one's uh, two five eighths, two five eighths. I did use the um, simply scored on that one. And four, seven, eights. Just double check that it match. Yeah. <laughs> Don't take notice of that one. That one's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> this one is nine, seven, eights by, by four, one, eight of an inch. And we are scoring at, it's an increment of two, three eighths of an inch. So that is two, three eighths of an inch. Four, three quarters of an inch. Four, 
718 and nine and a half and I didn't go to ten just because for um oh Barry the embossing sorry sorry didn't mean to shout but <laughs> um yes so nine and a half and then it's nine seven eight so i didn't do 10 inches just because it's easier to do the um conversion with on there so i'm just gonna burnish the fold why do i have this one oh that's for that one <laughs> Fold and burnish, and I'll do the same for the wi uh, for the wings. Oh, is it Mary? No, oh, that's good. So it's all going in one because it's gonna create a frame. Before we close it up, we were gonna cut an aperture. So you can use rectangular dies or or you can use your paper trimmer. Um, so with this one, we're gonna cut half an inch border and then three quarters of an inch on the bottom i believe are you three i didn't do all three quarters of an inch just because the motorbike was at the bottom half, half an inch even so uh, instead of half an inch i just increased it by a quarter of an inch on the bottom so with this one we're gonna align at two seven eighths of an inch so that way two seven eighths so that gives me half an inch if you kind of like it's easier with the trimmer because that's half an inch and you if you align your score fold there you know that's at half an inch so i'm gonna put my cutting blade at half an inch down to where am i <laughs> three three eighths of an inch so that one again if you look on the ruler so i want three quarters of an inch one two three four five six three three quarters of an inch so it's probably easier just to put your line or your cutting blade at three three eighths of an inch sometimes this wiggles out so i always push it out that way and then cut up to half an inch only I'll just bring my head round uh, move along to six five eighths of an inch so again half an inch on the fold so that's the fold I'm gonna align it on the right hand side this time and that is six five eighths of an inch there ah that's what I forgot erase that that's where this comes i got too excited anyway <laughs> we'll we'll do the same with this one so this one is four five eighths of an inch i'm gonna cut that in half so this is the two that i needed at um two two and a quarter Turn it over one eighth of an inch. And then that one's the double up. I'm gonna stick that down and then cut. Because this, whatever is cut in the middle, I'm actually gonna use for the inside frame. 
do add glue in the middle as well so at least um, it is I didn't go too far straight slightly bottom heavy but that's fine towards the bottom now we can cut it so what did I say half an inch on the score place that on three three eight of an inch and it's an easy one because I can feel the groove where it's gone and one two three yeah. half an inch on the right hand side or six five eighths on there Three three eight. Just put my head above up to half an inch on the top, just a slit. Turn it around half an inch on the right hand side there, and you can just pretty much see where the lines are. So if you align that where those slits are already. But if you want the measurement, it is two seven eighths by six five to down to six five eighths of an inch. And that should cut. Yeah, that's fine. That one was from earlier on because I had to double cut it. Turn it over or you can Keep it there I'm just gonna turn it over because I can see the half an inch on the on the right hand side just make sure it's correct You don't have to worry about the measurements hopefully anyway okay I didn't cut that far down enough ah 338 I'm gonna go with it remember I said I was gonna do three 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 and a quarter but anyway that is fine so just remember it's not half an inch at the bottom <laughs> even with my notes I'm just like okay <laughs> that's fine so that's how you make a half an inch frame <laughs> so with this one I'm gonna actually cut that down because to fit in the frame I'm cutting it cutting it down an eighth of an inch on all side so it'll fit inside the frame did I do the bottom already no I haven't I'm just checking which I which is which side it so it's that it's this side I need to cut again I just wanted the flow just to keep that the same that's cool so 
so now we have that and this one's gonna fold up that way and once you have this out this is when you can add your window sheet so I'm just gonna score at half an inch so if I allow half an inch for that one and then just checking four ones and half an inch four and a half you do need to um, leave a bit of space so it doesn't so I'm gonna cut um, fold half an inch onto here if you want a longer tab I guess go with three quarters of an inch So that's going to be my center piece slightly out like that and if I want that slightly out three and a half yeah four inches but because I folded it I'll just align that up three and a half sometimes it's just easier and then cut half an inch again just to double check that it still fits yeah it fits with a bit of give so just to recap we have half an inch, four inches, and then four and a half I'll cut. Fold that inwards, add glue. So depending on where you want your pop-up element or sentiment you can put it in the middle I'm gonna put it slightly towards the top just because of the motorbike down below so this is a lot easier uh, this way uh, when I first did it I did it after I constructed everything so I was having to put in <laughs> this window window sheet after it's all stuck down that was fun but it's just typical me I, I just like adding stuff when when I think I'm finished I'm not <laughs> because I squint <laughs> maybe I should stop squinting <laughs> hi Becky <laughs> why are you laughing Cool. So that is that. We have these panels on. So I'm just gonna fold it. Is it all the same? Yep. Fold and burnish that just so you can see the lines as well. If you find it's easier to See the lines or um, if, if it's easier for you to add the DSP when it's not burnished then do that beforehand so that's gonna go there and that's gonna go turned over so it's the same like so so for the DSP for the outside if you because it's a gatefold just turn it over um, this is the DSP for the outside oh did I change my measurements I did didn't I yeah hmm 
Here we go. What? Okay. So I'm just going to stick that down. There is a bit of gap because I did change my measurements right before I, I did the live. I'm, I, I apologize. But if you, that's fine. I, I'm going to keep my panel there. So the measurements for that DSP, 258 is two and a half. Yeah, two and a half. I thought I did two and a half. Oh, well. I'm just gonna go with it. I, I, I'll create a PDF <laughs> so it's easier. But yes, my original had a different measurement and I thought, oh, I'll change the panel in the middle, in the center. But you get the idea. If you do the cards first before you do the DSP, then that's probably better. Uh, so that's going to be the gate and that matches, yeah, that way. For these ones, I'm going to add the orange and I'm only adding it near the fold just because you can't see that panel too much anyway. So there's no point filling that panel up. So I might have to do another another demonstration with this with correct DSP measurements. <laughs> Maybe that will be Sunday. Maybe that will be Sunday. No, I'll I'll do um I think it's better if I if I don't do a live because I, I still get um, not panicky but <laughs> I still get funny. Um, get flustered. I get flustered thinking, oh what next? What next? So yes. So I'm just gonna do that. I've got another here because I know that the other one would be would would be wrong. So um I will remeasure this one. So two five six seven eight yeah so i said two and a half didn't i two and a half five inches yeah so five inches and then two and a half and then that will fit At least I'm cutting my DSP. <laughs> there we go. So that's what the front should look like. Ah, I know what I can do. I'm just gonna add some extension. So good. Is that upside down? Oh. So yes, so that's that one and I've got my strips if I can get it. So I'm gonna add my strip here and then here. Who shall I use the T ruler <laughs> that I don't know how to use? <laughs> I didn't bother with the eighth of an inch gap this on this one just because it's a small area. I'm just eyeballing it. Uh, trying to make it look straight. And then do the same for this one. Ooh. 
Is everyone still there? Or they've left me? <laughs> they've left me. <laughs> you are still among friends. Okay, thank you. Thank you for staying. I do like orange and grey. I'm sure I've mentioned that before. Are you straight? No, <laughs> it's way off. And then that one. I did a global stamping video hop as well with DSP. You can tell I don't use DSP that much because even that one I messed up. <laughs> And my, and my sample, I messed up. I was like, oh, what, what am I doing? Clearly, I, ca I can't read my own instructions. <laughs> because I had um, measurements. But I think I put in my measurement. I put in the correct inches, but I put in the wrong centimeter. And I look at the centimeter on the DSP. Cutting the DSP, and I was like, maybe I shouldn't have because... That was completely wrong. I was just like, but again, I just went with it because <laughs> because I was like, no, I'm not gonna do it again. But yeah, check it out. It's one sheet wonder. <laughs> it's using six by six, so not too bad. Okay, so we're nearly there. Nearly there. Nearly there. Did I just? Oh, that one's sticky. So we do need a sentiment and the front. So we're gonna have right on it's your birthday. Yeah, we'll do the same on that one. And or you can do that your cool list. And we're just gonna heat and boss. Fill in our panel. <laughs> there we go. That one. White. Hi, Cheryl. stamping I'm doing actually Press too hard on that one. Oh, you feel, you feel don't right. <laughs> you feel don't right. <laughs> You're all right, Jai. Yeah, no, I don't think this card is a. I think this is our scrapbooking card, so it feels flimsy. But that's fine. Hito. 
uh, the colors on this TSP Hazel is are even black, basic black, basic gray, pumpkin pie, soft suede, and very vanilla. And Mary asked you a question, Barry. Yeah, I'm, well, I think you printed it already. Haven't you? What? You get the blend labels for the new colors. You've already printed them for us, haven't you? Yes. Yes, it's already um, done. Is it stylish shapes? I, I think I use rectangle actually. Yeah. So the rectangle stitch is going as well, isn't it? Retiring. It is. Uh, rectangle stitch. <laughs> I think it might be there. So whilst um, Paris, because we put aside or put away our, or is it? I st maybe I still have it here. No, I still have it here, sorry. <laughs> it's one of those things. Oh that's... my God, sorry, it's nearly crushed you, Millie. Really. I expect me to sit behind me and yeah. the back. Scared me. So yes. <laughs> oh, crushed cat. <laughs> okay, I extended or I'm gonna cut that. I shortened it. So get the machine out again and for the handle um I did maybe I'll won't do the handle but for the handle um I just used this and cut it in Uh, silver foil. Right. So that one is gonna get cut. I'm just gonna stick that down. this down trying to find the groove again on the die cut which is hard when you're sitting down and <laughs> twisting your body so I'm just stood up there we go Just the end, yeah. So that is now done. It's central, yeah. I guess you can do um, shall I shall I do the handle? Tell me and then um or you're happy to just see it. So that is now done we have our mechanism that we need to finish up and also the mechanism for the motorbike so that is done and so this one there's two mechanism because we want the middle bit to float so floating middle and then floating sentiment so this one is three what well, three seven eighths of an inch you're right scored at three eighths of an inch one and three quarters are you correct yeah one and three quarters two one eighths of an inch and three and a half and what happens is we're just basically making a box 
and I put the joint at the end to keep that um, to strengthen that side this one is three one eighths of an inch scored at three eighths of an inch and one and three eighths one and three eighths one and three quarters and then I think it's that way yeah one three eighths one three quarters and two three quarters of an inch again it's the same principle it's a box uh, mechanism and the stronger one is going to be on the outside okay so that's done for this bottom here we just need uh, I'm gonna use black just because it's gonna be for the motorbike uh, half an inch should be enough and you just need we'll do three quarters plus three quarters one two one and a half Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't need to be really big. Um, if I do half an inch, yeah, and then one and a half, and you just need to fold it in half again. So half of that is three quarters. Of an inch. So loads of well, three mechanism. So that's gonna go fold it in half. Fold it in half. Yes to my handles. Oh okay. <laughs> So we're just gonna, yeah, I don't, I don't know if this is gonna I'll stick up. We'll see. So to finish this up, we we need to close it first. I'm using the old one. Where's my new one? <laughs> that's drying we're just gonna stick this together and this this way I think it's hopefully it's gonna be easier than my original as well just because it's a, a full form I, I, I keep calling it a box but you know what I mean when I first did it, I only I had kind of like a floating where it's only the end that didn't meet, so um, it was harder to to figure out or um, wh which area needs to stick where. But I think this one is okay. That's fine. So centrally, because our panel is going to be in the center uh, the reinforced layer needs to be on the outside because you'll have two that's meeting on here so the reinforce is on that side if that's gonna stick down like so so the other end add glue and add glue to that one So when you lie it down, 
that fold should meet in the middle or be where that center fold is. Does, did that make sense? You can see here. <laughs> Are you laughing at my explanation? <laughs> did that make sense? Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> so reinforce side and the box looks like that, okay? I'm being I'm 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 being <laughs> impatient. I'm not waiting for it to dry. And this side reinforces on the right hand side. So that side and underneath is gonna get stuck on that one and under here. So we're gonna add glue to those areas. Okay, are you gonna... So the fold should be aligned at the end of that previous mechanism. Or the end of that, it's there. <laughs> That's easier. <laughs> In the middle. Are you straight? So when you go like that, it gives you that V. Yay, nay, hopefully that works. Bye, Pat. So now, just double check. Yeah. You then add glue to the bigger areas. Don't add glue to the sides because no, <laughs> you don't want that sticky. I'm just trying to spread it just so it's not too blobby. I forget that there's a spreader on the tombone. I am using two, <laughs> one for spreading. And that center fold is gonna just get aligned centrally and it should have a nice frame so I can feel it down there just fold it on wait for it to dry I always as I mentioned I'm always impatient and try it on but that's gonna go there so that is done we won't do this one just yet so if we add this on so that's why I wanted three quarters of an inch at the bottom so just to reiterate if you want the motorbike in there just because you'll see your mechanism on the top I'm going to add what can I do oh let's have a look I'm just gonna add another I'm just because I made a mistake <laughs> Where's my scissor? I'm gonna add a tab for my tabs. Or will you suffice? Will you be enough? Oh, I can still see you. <laughs> I see you. Right, I'm just gonna go with it. I'm gonna add my tabs. It's not the best looking one, but I'm just extending that middle line. On either side. So now I have a tab that will go on there. Whilst that's drying, we can stick on our sentiment. So that's gonna go, I'm just gonna add glue on there. Slightly higher than 
what I want. Oh. But if that's gonna go there, you want that. Again, just eyeballing it for the center. Right, so hopefully this is dry. Because the idea is when it's propped up, that is going to be folded up. Oh, okay. Oh, what's that half an inch? So add glue to that and stick that down. So I guess this worked out okay because I'm not having to, it's the same frame, it looks nicer, but obviously because this one is gonna go there. Can I see you? No, I can't, oh, that's good. <laughs> Can you hear it? Huh? Can you hear it? Can you hear it? <laughs> what? So central, because I want the, oh, no, yes, I could see it. I can cut it, that's fine. <laughs> Looking at the wheels for alignment. So it opens up. I can just about see that thing, so. Just be aware, but it's easy to cut because it extends out. Here it is. Make sure you don't. There's a tiny bit left. Hey. in the back as well. Pen. Can you still see? Can you still see it? okay so the only thing is you can see the on the side but that's fine it looks nice on the front <laughs> right okay so we're gonna add that on that on you said you wanted to see the handles yeah okay so handles and I will fill up my sides there as well where is my four inch? Mm, that is that is four inches. Okay. I'm just gonna fill in the sides here, just so it looks better. Okay. Make sure that. Three eighths, yeah, three eighths, one centimeter. I just need to fill it in. And that's to go there. Easy. And for the handle, 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 I need the suki. it in black 
first. I had to do a couple of layers just to keep it, to make it stronger. Yes, I think we, or the one that we had, um, an older SU one, it was quite big. It had a cut punch as well. I don't know if we still have that. Probably. Probably. Right, so this just gets um, stuck together. But because it's a tiny area, uh, you you kind of like want it propped up. So I use dimensional and then stuck the Baker's twine on it. So that one. That one. No mini, you can't come up. <laughs> it's not like she can understand me. Hi Debbie. Yes, don't take notice of my measurements for the DSP. <laughs> there we go. So, can you just get her, please? Hi. So this is the black one. I'm just gonna cut in. Tiny, tiny piece and I'm gonna stick it down in the middle. Just finish up, nearly done. <laughs> Ooh, I'm liking it without the red. I'm just adding this because my DSP measurements 
the beginning. Must have been pants. But it's it gave me an opportunity <laughs> to add different color. Or when I realized that it was wrong, I could have just cut it in half again and then inserted this in the middle, right? Let's see. Right, before I add that, we're gonna add this on now that it's dry. Look! So you want to place that, of course, right in the middle. If you keep that in place, that's where you're gonna. I add so I have a gap. You'll have a gap there, but this one gets glued. So I guess a way to do it is make sure that it's center. up and down and then fold that in so you know that it's in the correct position it matches and then do the same on this side I can see so this one goes in So it meets up and there's plenty of space there so if you if you do mess up it'll be fine okay just glue this up and then line it up fold it in and then that just goes inwards Been wonka donk. <laughs> see, I can see it. <gasps> oh no! It's fine. I must have moved it. Oh well. It's stuck now. <laughs> It's fine. But yes, just look at it from the flat down. I think I, because I, I was lifting it up. Cool. So that is done. And I'm just going to get the first twine. Just use one. Take one off. So that looks like a handle. To me, it did anyway. And I'm sticking that just on the middle. And then add glue. So again, wait for it to dry. Thanks, Mary. So stick that. Is that central? You can also actually add glue to that one. Just to re um, strengthen. wait for that to dry and then 
just do a couple of turns and then cut your thing so at least it's just hanging or do it the other way so it's hanging down There we go. So yes, so just be careful with your DSP <laughs> uh, or use um, scrap DSP. And when you when you stick this down, just be careful as well with uh, with that. I think. And this is the original. So I I actually um, I added the red, but I think I prefer it in. In this new one without the red so it's just the orange and this one the original you can see at the back my I only did it originally I only did it with one mechanism and then I tried to add a second one so that one slightly far out this one I added the reinforcement so it's actually more secure so you you still have the same looking mechanism but it's more uh, reinforced so i hope you enjoyed that well done well done amazing what one is what? This one's the new one. Is it really? Lovely. See, I couldn't tell. <laughs> Thanks. So I'm going to try and um, get onto the computer. <laughs> <laughs> I did give you a warning. <laughs> Nearly done. <laughs> that was about half an hour ago. <laughs> Shush you. <laughs> so, um, lovely. I hope you have enjoyed that. Um, Let's go over to us right there. We are live, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So, um, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed that. Obviously, it's um, quite a long video for you, but um, hopefully you've, um, you can watch this on the replay. You can stop and start and um, try and miss out some of Jay's little mistakes. But they're not, they're not, they're not major things. You just miss, you just... Um, it looks like the Star Wars. <laughs> Do you want to do that on camera, what you just did? Oh. <laughs> it's like flying. Oh, dear, oh dear. It's been a long <laughs> night. <laughs> um, thank you so much for joining us anyway. Like I say, you can go back and you can stop start um, the, the, see the instructions um, as you wish and recreate. And um, we've just been joined by somebody right here. So, um, so yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, don't, don't forget the Reddit ride. DSP is retiring, um, but the legendary ride, is it called? yeah, legendary ride bundle will carry on to the next catalog, but they won't be as a bundle. So yes. if you would like to get ten percent off on the stamp set and the dice together, um, get them before second of May. But if not, 